UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's government is facing growing pressure over the sale of weapons to Israel. And the calls to stop the supply of weapons grew even further after an Israeli airstrike killed seven members of staff from World Central Kitchen a few days ago. And that included three British citizens. Now, the UK's Foreign Secretary, David Cameron, has said that Israel cannot take UK's support for granted. However, when questioned over the debate of sending arms to Israel, Cameron has remained silent. Now, this stance has been criticized by former Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Johnson says banning arms sales to Israel would be quote-unquote insane. The UK government is waiting for legal advice on whether or not selling arms to Israel is in breach of international law. Sunak is also facing calls to reveal any legal advice that he has been provided with on whether or not the Israeli government has breached international law. According to chairperson of UK Parliament's Foreign Affairs Select Committee, Alicia Kearns, the government has already received advice that Israel's actions are illegal and has declined to publish it. The UK has always been a key ally of Israel. However, after the killing of British citizens in Gaza, public sentiment has taken a U-turn. Opposition parties, Labour, Liberal Democrats and Scottish National Party have called for the suspension of arms sales to Israel. If government lawyers say it is illegal, Sunak released a statement after the attack in which he said he is appalled by the killing of aid workers and demanded thorough and transparent independent investigations into what really happened. However, he stopped short of blocking arms sales to Israel. Now, according to Defence Secretary Grant Shapps, defence sales to Israel are not that big in size when compared to what the United States and what Germany has been selling to Ukraine has been selling to Israel, pardon me. If UK decides not to send Israel weapons, it would be a significant step in Britain's foreign policy. Also, it will set Britain apart from a number of its allies. Now, UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron has faced accusations of hiding from scrutiny amid questions about the UK's arms sales to Israel. His Labour counterpart has called for Cameron to appear in the House of Commons and answer questions on arms export licences. Meanwhile, in the US, Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi signed a letter from dozens of congressional Democrats to President Joe Biden and Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, urging an immediate halt to weapons transfers to Israel.